What is up guys and welcome to Squat Every Day, day three. So today, after long consultations with myself and deciding what variation I wanna do, I'm gonna do a low bar squat for the first time in my life. Really work, doing a little research on it. I'm gonna have my friend help me out. I'm gonna use those new squat shoes that my boy Luke hooked me up with. Shout out to him. But right now it is 10 a.m. I got class at 11. I'm actually at Target real quick just to get a couple things. And then I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Here we go. Cue that intro. So guys, let's go back to Target. I'm gonna move up together some overnight oats to have, what is it, 10.20 right now. I'm gonna have them probably like one around there, almost like a pre-workout meal, because then I got class two, workout at 3.15. Give me a little time to digest it, so it's gonna be a big bowl. Let me show you what's gonna be in it. I'm gonna get, so. Sigurdoodle Select Protein Powder, duh. I'm gonna use half a serving of vanilla fat for yogurt. Two maple and brown sugar packets. One serving of that fat-free cheesecake jello. And probably three quarters of a cup to a cup of cashew milk. So, these are all the ingredients. I'm gonna pull all together in a bowl right now, ready? Three, two, one. So here it is guys, the final product. Well, almost the final. And I just gotta let it solidify. Right now it's a little, you guys will see it's a little bit jiggly. But what that gel mix does, gives it more flavor and it lets it get a little more solid in the fridge, just like you would make a regular pudding. And throw this in the fridge, eat it in about an hour and a half, it's gonna be delicious. There we go. The bro's about to work out for the first time in months, probably. Three days. There you go. What are you hitting today? Legs? Yeah. Burn some calories? Yeah. I feel you on that. Me, though. I already took a bite out of this. Delicious. Post this on Instagram later. The live taste test. Mm-hmm. Taste it? Taste no, it on camera, dude. I just ate. What'd you eat? Toast. Yum. That's so good. It tastes a little bit. It's like a little. I'm gonna go pick up my toys, too. I threw a different jello in there. It's not bad, right? It's good. Could be a little colder, though. Yeah. I only let it sit for like an hour, that's why. So it's not overnight oats. Mm. It's over an hour oats. What is up guys, Nando here with a new video. Day three of Squat Every Day, episode 16 of the Beach Prep. But today did a variation squat that I've never ever done before in my entire life, the low bar squat. Now, it looks pretty similar to regular high bar squat or any squat, but I'm gonna be honest guys, it is a totally different movement. It requires you to use your entire body. For high bar squats, it's so quad dominant, and that's why I've kind of, I'm not gonna say excelled in it, but it was stronger, and also like, like my front squat, because it's so quad dominant. But this, you use your back, your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings. It was just, I'm not gonna lie, positioning the bar was one of the weirdest things I've ever done, and then once you unrack it, the back is kind of at an angle. I'm so used to being straight up. Good. Flex into the bar. Flex into the bar. Flex into the bar. Flex the ground. But here, uh, your back uh, is kind of uh, like good. at an angle when, you once you unwrap it. Take your time with it. Take so here time I am. I'm working with 365. Um, and in terms of speed, it, nice. it went pretty quickly. Nice. I was pretty happy with it. Again, the first time I'm ever doing it. Here's 385. Depth was good. Speed was good. They didn't help me with this. It was just honestly, the hardest part was just unracking it and then re it. Then I decided to go to 395, which I'll actually show you guys in raw right about now. Nice. I think the same speed 
So after that, guys, hit that 395 low bar squat. Like I said, it's a very, very different movement. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely give it a shot because it engages your entire upper back too, which is kind of cool. After this, it was a total arm day, bodybuilding day. It started off, it was three tricep exercises, it super set with three bicep exercises. So the first one was just a regular tricep push down. The next one was rope, uh, uh, like rope attachment cable curls. And my rep scheme for this is five sets, one set warm up, so about 15 reps for the first set. Then the first working set is a set of 12, 10, eight, and then a set of six. So you can run four break drop sets you can. It's kind of just a chase pump day, make your arms as pumped as possible. Here I try something new, again, I'm just trying different things to keep my body guessing, keep the muscles engaged. This is like a close grip, dumbbell, neutral um, grip. Superset it with uh, dumbbell curls, regular, no hammer, no hammer curls, both at the same time. Nice, slow, and controlled. Trying not to sway my body as much as I can. You guys can see the back gains once I bring them up. It was actually a lot more difficult than I expected. But yeah, like I said, guys, all I superset it one tricep exercise with one bicep exercise. It was just three triceps, three biceps, and then called it a day. And then my last two movements were a preacher curl, which again, people, so the best way to kind of get a full range of motion is to literally just go all the way down to the point where your elbows are locked out. Some people try to cheat it and not go all the way down. It really, you gotta, you wanna let it stretch and you make it go slowly on the way down. Here I'm going a little bit faster than I would, than I would like, but it was just because I was fatigued, I was tired, I needed, I just wanted to get the reps in. So to get a good, solid movement, you want to let it go all the way down and bring it all the way up. So if you want another variation of this, kind of go four seconds on the way down and then one second on the way up. To get that full range of motion. And the last thing I did was dumbbell overhead bicep extension. If you guys saw the way I bring them all the time, put on one and pick it up. And again, just working on that. to get the long head as engaged as possible. That would be really going to help in terms of prevention and aesthetics. So, it's going to be a good for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. So, fam, just finished the workout. It was an arm day. It was my first just arm day and I don't know how, since I've been like powerlifting, I'm going to be honest. But, as you guys saw, low bar squat for the first time in my life. Honestly, it feels, I mean, I know it's a squat, but it feels so different from high bar. It's ridiculous. I was able to get 395. Did I have maybe a little more in the tank? Yeah, but I wanted to save it. Because the whole thing with squatting every day, it's impossible to get to an RPE 9.5 every freaking day. It's, it's just not, it won't work. You'll plateau so quickly. So my... My goal is to have some days where I do go to an RP, like 9, 10, and other days, like maybe tomorrow, I'm probably going to hit a box squat, but I'll go to an RPE 7 or 8 for a 1 rep max, or maybe a, set, a triple or a double. That's the only way to keep progressing. you got to auto-regulate. Like my friend Luke, he's like, you got 405 in you? I said, probably, I probably do, I'm going to be honest, but it's just, I wanted to save it, keep it in the tank, and then also, when I come back and revisit that movement, I'll be able to PR a lot easier and maybe with more efficiency better speed it's all about giving and taking auto regulating especially when you get to the point where you've been lifting for a few years now but yeah good solid workout and then the arm pump was real thought i'd go get some grub go to class study up made this video and i got some packages in the mail oh. i also got some packages in the mail Let's see what that is so guys it is 12 40 still got some macros to hit and I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try a protein like mug cake thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some chocolate chip pancake mix, protein powder, uh, baking soda, maybe egg whites, 
and just cook in the microwave and see what it comes out to be. Let's try it out. So this is the final product, guys. It's about, eh, it's not huge. Just need something to get some calories in. I'm gonna do a live taste test and then end this video. So what's in here is one serving of pancake mix, chocolate chip, one serving of PS protein powder, snickerdoodle, half a serving of unsweetened applesauce, and a little bit of pinch of baking powder, and half an egg white, and then a little bit of water. Here it is. Mm. Perfect. This, if, if, if I have like ice cream or some milk or something on the side, almost like a blondie. No, it's like a snickerdoodle brownie with chocolate chips. Mmm. The way I cooked it was a minute initially, and pulled it out, mixed it up a little bit more, another 30 seconds, and it was a perfect. I should have done maybe 45 seconds first, and then mixed it up, but. but yeah, last bite. So gonna con this is gonna conclude the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Squat every day is gonna continue. Okay, keep dropping this weight, keep getting stronger, and more aesthetic, hopefully. Until next time, guys. Cue that. Hit that like button for me, too. Bye-bye.